Here we go. It's last week at the auction. That's California. Keep the change. Morphe's, Morphe's, Morphe's. That's a Marshall, Marshall, Marshall joke. I don't know whether you got that or not. Hey, it's my top 10 list of auction results from around the globe as hand selected by me, Josh Levine, your host and guide to the world of auctions. This is episode six of season one in America's hottest new YouTube series. I mean, everybody's talking about it. You have Doug Henning, uh, Jim Henson, and most of the Muppets, and Sonny Bono. I mean, everybody's talking. What? Doug Henning is dead? When did that happen? Oh, I gotta get on with the show. We'll, we'll talk about that. I'm an appraiser. Uh, auctioneer, consultant, uncertified blogger, a blogger, and still unemployed. So the videos will keep coming until they shut off my cable or cell phone service. Uh, private donations and all gift cards are being accepted. So here we go. Last week at the auction. Coming in at number 10 from Prime Auction Solutions in McLean, Virginia, the Washington, D.C. area, an elaborate peacock menorah or Hanukkah lamp of Austro-Hungarian origin brought $950. This is part of a great collection and I actually hear there's more from the Mark Talisman estate collection still being cataloged. Uh, this collection is a great story and great provenance, so keep an eye out for more pieces. At number nine is the first of two banks I'm featuring. This one's called Funny Clown by j and &E Stevens and it was in the original box and it sold for $1,938 at New Haven Auctions in Connecticut. Number eight, I'm just going to follow it up, is Pig in Chair. I don't know where they come up with the names for these. Pig in Chair Bank. It was by J&E Stevens also, but it brought $3,750 at New Haven Auctions in Connecticut. They get some great stuff there. Number seven, a rare countertop uh, Indian with cigar box. Really cool piece. Take a look at it brought $4,250 also at New Haven Auction. They had a great sale and have a lot of features in this week's sale. Notice. Next up, number six, the Encyclopedia Britannica from 1773 brought $7,560 at Brunk Auctions in Asheville, North Carolina. That was a surprise. Their estimate was much less than that. At number five, Peter Goo's map of California. This is the California I was talking about. It shows it as an island in 1666. Figure that out. And it sold for $10,000. At number four, furniture, I keep talking about it, a Chippendale Mahogany Corner Games Table from the Philadelphia area, circa 1770, brought $34,020 and it was from the Susquehanna collection that was sold at Morphe's, who takes the rest of the show. Number three, an exceptional and rare engraved Havana map powder horn dated, it was dated July 7th, 1763, brought $51,660 at Morphe's. That is awesome. And here at number two, this is probably the best clock auction record I've heard in a long time. A Peter Stretch tall case clock, again from the Philadelphia area, circa 1740, brought $163,800. I haven't heard those numbers in a long time. That is awesome. Great time. But here we go. At number one, the 1510, from 1510, the Maximilian Prussian suit of armor brought $277,200 again at Morphe. So there you go. They clean up. They should, it should have been the last week at the auction at Morphe's show. So there you have it, another episode of last week at the auction. Again, I want to give a big shout out to the auctionlist.com. It's going to be your go-to source for auction listings in North America. They've really thought of everything when designing this site. It is an auction hunter's dream. Go have a look at this site. It's going to be great. There's no recap this week. I figured you have a mouse or a finger, so just rewind. But I do want to introduce a new section called Viewers Emails. That's where you email me at josh at josh Levine Speaks, and feel free to send me in any and all questions you would like answered. This week's question comes from Harbor Beach, Michigan. Hey Josh, what research pay sites are worth it? My answer, Right now, it's all the free ones. I'm, and I'm serious, because there are some great. 
eBay has a great search function. Live Auctioneers has a great search function. BidSquare has a great search function and they all are free. And you just sign up for an account, it doesn't cost you anything, you don't have to buy anything and you can search past auction results. So does Christie's and so does Sotheby's. They all have everything available there, you just gotta do a little digging. If you do like it all in one point, place, worth point is really good and ask art and art price you know they're a little expensive but they are a godsend if you're in the art researching and you only know part of a name they can, once you get the hang of them they can be powerful tools thanks again for watching if you enjoy these please subscribe click subscribe it doesn't hurt a bit like that's the thumbs up like this or leave a comment it really helps me out more than you know it's all about the analytics Want to plug? Send me what you sold. Email me the results link. Email josh at joshlevinespeaks.com and while I'm building this channel, I can get you guys some great exposure to new leads. I'm currently working on 10 more show ideas thanks to you, the viewers. So keep emailing me your advice. Let's all make this YouTube world uh, know about this crazy auction subculture. Thanks again.